Hello, and welcome to the GameForce.blog. Don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell. So that you never miss one of our videos. Doing this will also help grow our audience on this platform. In today's video, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the Barbarian class in Diablo Immortal. The Barbarian is a melee class known for its brute strength high damage output, and unparalleled resilience on the battlefield. So, without further ado, let's dive into the world of the Barbarian. The Barbarian class in Diablo Immortal is all about raw power and devastating blows. Their abilities reflect their specialization in dealing with melee damage. Barbarians are best suited to be in the thick of battle wreaking havoc on the enemies with their weapons and skills. One of the most significant advantages of the Barbarians is their ability to withstand heavy damage. With their tough armor and high health pool, they can take a beating while still dealing heavy blows to the enemy. Additionally, Barbarians can heal themselves, making them incredibly durable on the battlefield. Abilities that the Barbarian may gain access to as they level up include Starting with the two primary skills i.e. Lacerate and Frenzy. Lancerate. Unlocked at the start of the game, Lance is a charging attack that deals damage and knocks back enemies. It can be improved with skill points and equipment. It's useful for engaging groups of enemies and reaching ranged enemies quickly. Frenzy. Unlocked at level 34. Frenzy is a powerful melee attack that increases attack speed and damage with each hit. It has a short duration and a moderate cooldown. It's useful for dealing high damage to single targets and generating fury quickly. Coming to the secondary skills, Barbarian has 12 secondary skills in total. Some of them get unlocked after reaching certain levels. Cleave. Unlocked at level 1. Cleave is a basic melee attack for Barbarians that hits all enemies within range. It has a moderate cooldown and can generate fury. It's useful for crowd control and dealing with groups of weaker enemies. Hammer of the Ancients. Unlocked at level 1. Call forth a massive hammer that smashes enemies in front of you for damage and shakes the earth itself, dealing additional damage over 2 seconds. Chain Spear. Unlocked at level 1. Hurl chain spears that deal damage and then return, dragging impaled enemies back to you and dealing another damage. Whirlwind. Unlocked at level 8. Become a whirlwind of steel, continually striking all nearby enemies for damage, while moving at 70% reduced speed. Using a whirlwind slowly consumes its energy, which recovers while the whirlwind is not in use. Sprint. Unlocked at level 15. Increase your movement speed by 50% for 4.5 seconds. While active, you may move unhindered through enemies, and you are immune to movement impairing effects. Furious Charge. Unlocked at level 20. Charge forward, knocking away all enemies in your path and dealing damage. Maximum 3 charges. Players may only be affected once every 3 seconds by this skill. Leap. Unlocked at level 28. Leap to a location, dealing damage to all nearby enemies when you land, and reducing their movement speed by 50% for 4 seconds. Each full life enemy struck by Leap will reduce Leap's cooldown by 1 second. Demoralize. Unlocked at level 38. Release a ferocious shout that forces nearby monsters to attack you. Also deals damage to all nearby enemies, and reduces their damage to all nearby enemies and reduces their damage done by 30%. Last 8 seconds. Ground Stomp. Unlocked at level 41. Stomp the ground, stunning nearby enemies for up to 1.5 seconds and dealing damage. Charging longer increases range and duration by up to 3 seconds. Undying Rage. Unlocked at level 44. Enter a rage for 4 seconds that prevents you from dying and causes all your attacks to heal you for 30% of the damage done. Grab. Unlocked at level 47. Seize a nearby enemy and wield it as a weapon, replacing your primary attack with a swing that does damage against all enemies in front of you. Activate again to throw the enemy, dealing damage to enemies in a direction. Monsters are grabbed for 4 seconds and players for 2 seconds. Wrath of the Berserker. Unlocked at level 50. Enter a Berserker Rage that increases your attack speed by 50% and movement speed by 20% for 6.5 seconds. These were all the abilities and the levels where they unlocked as you gain levels. 
Let's talk about best attributes for Barbarian. Strength. This stat is the most important for Barbarians, as it directly increases their damage output. The more strength a Barbarian has, the harder it hits. Fortitude. Raises armor and armor penetration. Invest in this stat if you need more damage behind your crits. Vitality. Barbarians are a naturally tanky class and benefit greatly from having more health. Increasing vitality also increases their maximum health making them more resilient in combat. Willpower. Raises potency and resistance. Since the Barbarian does not have a lot of status effect skills, it has a low priority. Intelligence. Worst stat to increase as a Barbarian, as it provides the lowest combat rating bonus. Do not waste any points on the stat while leveling this class. Coming to the, the best build for Barbarian. You can find the best skills for a Barbarian build here, which goes like this, Lancerate, Cleave, Furious Charge, Demoralize, Sprint. This build focuses on a fast-moving burst damage playstyle, using Cleave's high initial damage and Furious Charge's disruptive ability. Coupled with the mobility from Sprint and the added loss of control from Demoralize, this build is great for mowing through challenge rifts, elder rifts, and dungeons in solo and party settings. Now, let's talk about some gears for the Barbarian class, which are very great to boost the overall character's stats. Battlemaster's Helm. This is the best helmet equipment for Barbarian class. Talking about its effect, Demoralize is replaced with a war cry that increases all damage you and nearby allies inflict. The Gathering. This is our chest item. Talking about its effect, Whirlwind pulls in all enemies it damages. Next is... We have Eager Maelstrom as a main hand weapon. Its damage, crowd control, and abilities are unprecedented. It increases the whirlwind radius, but the whirlwind movement speed decreases. Then we have the Coming Storm. This is a shoulder item for Barbarian class. Effects. Wrath of the Berserker cooldown decreased by 15%. Next is our leg item for the Barbarian class which is Swifting. Effect. Sprint now also increases movement speed of nearby allies. For offhand weapons, we have Hammer of the Ancients, which summons a spirit of the Ancients who stuns all nearby enemies, and then fights beside you for a while. These were the best items for the Barbarian class, since Barbarian is best for the attack. I guess these both weapons are worth the attention of all the players who play Barbarian class. Playstyle. Barbarians are all about brute strength and taking down enemies as quickly as possible. They are most effective in close combat, so players need to be comfortable with getting up close and personal with their foes. Barbarians have a relatively straightforward playstyle that involves charging in using their skills to deal damage and control the battlefield, and then finishing off their enemies. The downside of this class is the overall cooldown period for each skill is high. In conclusion, the Barbarian is an incredibly powerful class in Diablo Immortal. They are a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield, thanks to their high damage output, incredible durability, and devastating abilities. If you're looking for a class that can take on hordes of enemies and comes out victorious, then the Barbarian is the perfect choice for you. We hope you enjoyed it and have found some guidance as well. We want to thank the following sources that helped make this video possible. Please follow their links in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.